Hello, folks. Uh, today I am dealing with uh, graphs, and uh, uh, the graph is uh, somewhat uh, dealt with uh, very uh, frequently by many, many uh, instructors on the internet. And uh, uh, what I felt was, uh, let me not do it initially. But uh, in these uh, one and a half year of YouTubing, uh, people requested me a lot, so that's why uh, I decided to go for it. Actually, I have also uh, one graphical lecture in which uh, I talked about uh, uh, the variation of ST, uh, VT, and AT uh, when there is opposing force. But here, uh, that was a difficult one. But here, I am going for the simple one. Simple one. So, difficult one was done previously, and uh, simple one is being done uh, right now. It's because uh, of uh, request, actually request. I did not intend to do it, but still. So uh, maybe uh, people wanted to get a taste of mine. So that's why <coughs> I'm doing it. So uh, we have to draw a graph of ST, VT, and AT. So let me draw the, uh, the AT graph first, actually, because uh, I always like to draw that one, which is the easiest. So this is a time, this is O, and this is A. So we have here, the something is uniform. So most of the equations of uh, kinematics uh, deal with this, um, uh, deal with the situation in which uh, a is constant, that is of VAT equation also. So uh, let us say the value of A is uh, uh, simply G or 981 or let us say 10 or like that. So the graph should be somewhat. So if it is uh, 10 in the beginning, it should remain 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 like this. So the graph should be a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, parallel to the T axis, parallel to the T axis. It means that, it means that its value is, though time goes forward or though time is spent there, the graph, the value will be same, 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 and same. So then comes uh, VT. So let me draw the uh, empty graph here, the skeletal graph here. So this is T, O, and V. So when A is constant, uh, the value of V increases. When A is constant, value of V increases. So let us say, uh, let us say I have uh, this thing. So let me say that uh, A equal to 10 meter per second square. So it means that the value of V increases v increases by by 10 meter per second in each second in each second so that means the graph here should be somewhat a slopey type it goes on increasing like this and it should be happening uniformly so when you say uniformly that means uh, it will be a straight line it will be a straight line so let me do like this let me do like this so this is the graph of vt graph of vt so yeah, the value of A is constant, which means that the rate of increase also should be constant. And this thing can be known from uh, another angle also. What we also know is that, what we know is this A is equal to, let me write it here, this A equal to slope of, slope of VT graph. A is equal to slope of VT graph. So that means the value of A is constant. Value of A constant means that this thing should be equal to constant. This thing should be equal to constant. So now the graph of VT should be somewhat like this. The slope of VT should be constant. So constant means that it should be a straight line. And since this is positive, the slope should also be positive. So from here I can know this. But uh, what uh, uh, we have missed here is, it does not say what the initial value of V is. It does not say what the initial value of V is. And here I have done initial velocity equal to 0. So is that the only case? No. Because we can have initial velocity something also. So in such case, what could happen is, so the graph could be, the graph could be, so let me draw the scalar graph here, so O and V. So in this case, we have a U equal to 0. And if U is not equal to 0, if U is some sort of positive quantity, at that time I must have there should be some sort of velocity in the beginning and from then onwards the slope should be same or constant or should be a straight line it should be straight line with a positive slope so that's why the graph should be somewhat like this so here i have got u equal to positive this can also be known from the fact that we have the equation here so since i have to draw the graph of v and t let me consider its own equation v equal to u plus a t which I can write as, write as V equal to A T plus U. And this equation, <coughs> this equation can be, can be uh, related to Y equal to M X plus C. 
So I must have some sort of intercept, the positive intercept here, positive intercept. So that's why the graph should be somewhat like this. So this should be the graph there. This is the slope, which is constant. The time is in the x-axis. And this is the intercept. And this is plus. So I have got plus intercept here. Now in some cases, what could happen is, what would happen is, the initial velocity could be negative. Compared to the final velocity, the initial could be negative. So for example, for example, uh, let me give you some examples here. This case is somewhat like this. I drop something. This case is somewhat similar to this. I drop something. Initial velocity is 0 and then it increases. And I have taken the downward velocity as positive. Downward velocity as positive. And then this comes. So in this case, what I do is I am throwing it. So when I throw it, this is the initial velocity, which is uh, uh, positive, and it goes on increasing and again positive. So if so, then I can have a such case in which I throw a body like this. If I throw a body like this, like this, see there, like this. So if uh, this is positive, this should be negative. So initially, the velocity is negative. So in such case, the graph will be somewhat like this. Initially, velocity is negative. But the slope is positive and constant. So the graph should be, should be, should be. This is the t axis, O, V. It should go like this, and the graph should be, graph should be somewhat like this. So initial velocity negative, negative, then this negative value decreases, 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 decreases. decreases. It becomes zero. And then it falls. So, and when it falls, the velocity increases. So this is the increase of velocity. Of velocity. So the graph could be three of them. And this can also be read as again the same thing here. If we have if we have a negative u, negative u, so if a v equal to a t minus u minus u, definitely the graph will be like this. So we have this is c equal to when a competitor equal to y equal to mx plus c. So c is equal to minus u. So intercept is negative, this is minus u. So in all these cases, the slope is positive, constant, which means A is positive and constant. So these are the graphs. Now, another thing that we can realize from here is, throughout the motion, the value of A is positive, constant positive. But what I can see is, in this case and in this case, velocity is zero somewhere. Velocity is zero somewhere. So here, velocity is zero at the very beginning and here, Velocity is 0 somewhere. So that means, though we have got uh, some value of A, velocity can be positive. So velocity can be 0. Velocity can be 0 for a moment. Though there is A, positive value of A, velocity can be 0. Can be negative, can be positive, and it can be 0 as well. So people often take notions that uh, if there is A, uh, V cannot be 0. Or if, uh, uh, there is a, if uh, V is non-zero, A cannot be 0. Not like that. So there are every possibilities in kinematics. So this is one of the possibilities. Though we have got A, positive value of A, V can be 0. Though we have positive value of A, V can be negative. And we have positive value of A, the value of V is all positive. And the only requirement is that if A is positive, the slope should be positive. The slope of VT graph should be positive. So that is what these graphs tell. Now, 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 now. Let me go for ST, and that's the most difficult part. It's because the equation of ST follows somewhat like this. Let me draw the equation first. So S equal to UT plus 1 by 2 AT square. So that means it follows the pattern here. If we have A equal to constant, this whole thing is constant. So that's why I should have Y equal to AX plus BX square. So if a certain quantity has got this sort of equation there should be a parabola so parabola means that means that it's a curve it's a curve so what from this what you can say is its graph should be a curve its graph should be a curve a parabolic curve so let's go for that but for ease uh, what i should do is uh, to make uh, things uh, a bit easier uh, a bit easier what i can do what i can do what i can do is so first of all let me just consider s equal to 1 by 2 a t squared because I consider here u equal to 0, u equal to 0. So if u equal to 0, I have this. So this gives me y equal to some constant x squared. So the graph should be parabola, which should be rising like this. 
but this parabola will not have the negative part because uh, in kinematics time cannot go negative time start from zero it goes positive but can go negative so the graph should be somewhat like this it should come first the slope should be uh, zero it should be horizontal first then from here it rises like this it rises like this so this is the parabolic path parabolic curve here slightly slightly trembling of hands here so this happens when u equal to zero zero now comes this u part if u is there the equation will be like this so s equal to u t plus 1 by 2 a t square so i need some space here so what i should be doing is i like to combine all these things into this so that i can have this space with me so let me draw this thing here this thing here like this u equal to positive positive then 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 i can do it like this this is o this goes like this then u equal to u equal to negative so all three graphs combine into one all three graphs combine into one so now i can work for this now when i drew this graph it was just s equal to half it square so this is how half it square goes so this is the curve of half it square now i have got certain u here so that's why there is something addition to this addition to this half it square so that means the graph should be somewhat this somewhat plus here but the situation uh, will be somewhat different in the very beginning so in the very beginning when time equal to 0 i have s is equal to u into 0 plus 1 by 2 a into 0 square which means that s equal to 0 so even though the graph goes up like this for for this situation what i have is the initial value should be 0 so initially it should be 0 and then only it should be more than this thing so let's try this now let us say uh, let me say u equal to 1 meter per second just uh, an arbitrary value here 1 meter per second then when t equal to 1 t equal to 1 i will have s is equal to 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 a t square i am not using any values here because this is the this is the curve formed by half a t square and i am comparing the new curve with this curve so that's why it's equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 a t square so when time equal to one second initially it was uh, uh, coincident but when time equal to one second the value should be somewhat up somewhat up by 2 now if i have got t equal to 2 seconds t equal to 2 seconds s will be equal to s equal to 2 into 1 plus sorry 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 a t square that's equal to that's equal to uh, uh, sorry i'm sorry here it should be one here it should be one now it is two plus one by two a t square now the additional term is slightly more so if i do three second it will be three plus one by two a t square and so on so the separation goes on increasing compared to half it is square the value should be the additional value should go on increasing so that's why the graph should be somewhat like this from here it should it should go like this like this like this like this like this like this so the separation goes on increasing because of this particular uh, particular <coughs> value so it should be u equal to positive so if u is equal to positive the graph should be like this now the next remaining case is when u equal to negative so this means that the equation becomes somewhat like this here also if in the very beginning t equal to 0 s equal to 0 here and 0 here should be 0 so here also the beginning consists that it should be start from here start from here now let me use some other arbitrary values here also let me have u equal to 1 meter per second a equal to 2 meter per second square i'm using arbitrary values because i want to just uh, make some comparisons so if i do so s is equal to here mine uh, when t equal to one second so when t equal to one second one second s is equal to minus one into one one plus this thing will be equal to one two into one by two one into one square so it should be equal to this is uh, this is uh, minus one this is minus one and this is a plus 1 equal to 0 
So at time equal to 1 second, the value is some, somewhere let us say 0. Now, let us say t equal to minus t equal to 0 0.5 second. So in this case, I will have in this way s is equal to so 1 into minus 1 into 0 0.5 plus this is 1 into 0 0.5 square. Square. So here I will have this is a minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 equal to minus 0 0.25. So when time equal to less than one second, less than one second, the value is somewhat negative. So at one second, value is zero. At uh, time equal to 0 0.5 second, the value is negative. Now if I do the same for time equal to two second, then I'll have s equal to minus one into two plus one into two square equal to it is minus two plus four equal to two. Then the value becomes positive. So that means initially 0, then negative, negative, then 0 and then again positive. Initially at 0 second, 0, 0 0.5 second, negative value, in 1 second, 0 value, and 2 second, positive value, and in any other times, higher times, the value will be positive, positive, positive. So the graph, the nature of the graph should be somewhat like this. So this should be the nature of the graph later on. So that's how things change here. That's how the graph of S and T vary. So this happens when u equal to negative. So these things form the core of form the core of uh, core of uh, the variations of S T V T and A T when A is uniform. So from here, what I can say is. If somebody says what about the resultant force here if somebody says what about the resultant force then it should be since resultant force is always proportional to acceleration its value should also be somewhat like this so this graph this follows like this and if somebody says uh, somebody says the graph belongs to something falling from here and let's go for the height if somebody says now when we say displacement it will be from we count from here we measure from here but when we say height, we measure from below. So height goes on decreasing. So if I have ST graph like this, if I have ST graph like this, like this, like this, if I have O, yes, ST graph somewhat like this, then the graph of height should be, height should be reverse of this. Reverse means it should be a flipped form of this graph, flipped, flipped along the horizontal axis. So it should be somewhat like this, somewhat like this. So this is T O H. So it falls from here, initial like this, then, then, then it comes somewhat like this. So it's initially horizontal like this. So from these graphs, we can know the graphs of other things as well. And uh, one more that I have to clear is, in this case, I have to uh, consider A is positive. What if A is negative? What if A is negative? So this thing will be if uh, a is negative my graph for a will be a will be so not uh, much uh, difficult here people always worry a lot about graphs so if a is negative the graph should be like this so this is a this is o it's negative and constant so this happens when we throw something like this or when some uh, vehicle is being retarded it is being <coughs> decelerated and if a is like this what about v then so the graph of V should be also follow the same pattern here, same pattern. So I'll have, I'll have, I'll have. So let us say if the initial velocity is uh, zero, then it must go like this. Because I must have, if A is negative, its slope should be negative and constant. If A is uh, negative and constant, its slope or acceleration should be negative and constant. So that's why the next is like this. This is V. And in some cases, initial value of V should be, V can be uh, non-zero, could be positive, could be negative. So if uh, initial V is positive, it should be like this. This is when U equal to positive and, 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 and here, if U equal to negative, it will be like this. So this is U equal to negative. So not much difficult here. So if I get to such value of A, I will have like this. And with such V, what about the value of ST then? So if I go the same for ST, same for ST, so this is T and this is 
this is uh, uh, yes, so it is zero. Now what happens here is, <coughs> what happens here is, so let me not exit do like this, so let me draw the axis like this. Uh, so, 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 uh, <coughs> so like this. Now in case of uh, this type of equation, I will have yes equal to, uh, yes also follows the same pattern. So what I can have is, this uh, s will be equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square. If u equal to 0, then I will have like this and a is negative. So this is equal to something negative here. So it is y equal to minus x square. So if it is minus x square, then, then, then it should be here. So the graph should be, graph should be somewhat like this. Initially like this, so this is, this happens when u equal to 0. Now if u equal to positive, so if I have a u equal to positive here, ut, if this is positive, initially this factor will be higher and later this will be higher. So that means if u equal to positive, the graph should be like this, should be like this. So this is u equal to positive, we can try here, if u is positive, positive at least time, this will be dominant over this, so value will be positive in the beginning, then it goes 0 and then negative. And if u equal to negative, it's the same case here, it goes somewhat like this. So this will be when u equal to negative value. See, so with these things, I have drawn at least around, uh, so these are three graphs, three graph, uh, th seven graphs, so seven, seven, fourteen. And I drew s also, fifteen, I drew force also, it is uh, sixteen graphs. So sixteen graphs into uh, these uh, some maybe this maybe 15 or 20 minutes like this. So we have learned 15 graphs from here. So we have to extend the same thing into others as well.